Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It has been a hot minute and a lot has changed. Um, so in today's video I thought it would be acceptable to film a life update. Okay, so first off, this side of my room is blank because my roommate actually dropped out um, for things, personal issues. Um, so I don't have a roommate, but I on Monday I will be receiving a list of prospective roommates and I have to interact with them and do all of those good old things to find a new roommate. So that's number one. Okay, so I'm editing this right now on December 3rd. I have, it's 6 p.m. and I still have not received a list of perspective So you're a freaking liar. <sighs> number two. I know where I'm living next year, so that's good. Um, Rihanna and her one of her roommates actually is going to be staying in their apartment. And then I am actually going to be leasing the third room because the third roommate is moving in with her boyfriend. Um, so I have already signed the lease, everything is official, I've already paid for like the deposit, and yeah, so we know where we're living. I stress about a lot of things, and like, if you know me personally, then like, you know that I stress about things all the time, even when I don't even need to, and like, living, finding somewhere to live is literally almost like about nine months away from like, what I need to be like, figuring out. Girl, don't nobody care. But, you have to lease before November in order to get good rates or the um, price for rent will skyrocket. So we took care of that, so check. Um, next off, I haven't been posting because I have been very, 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 three varies, stressed because um, art. Art is very stressful, and you would think um, it's pretty fun, which some days it can be okay, um, especially for people who enjoy doing art all the time. Um, we have sketchbooks that we have, we're required to like sketch in and like just stuff like, simple stuff like that. Um, I cannot stand doing that um, because I'm a photo major and like, I don't like doing art stuff and like art projects, but like it was fine. Like I got through it. I have one more art project to do in my drawing class, which I have to do the rough draft for tonight. I did the rough draft. My professor was okay with it. So now I'm just adding the ink on top. But I'm actually like real proud of that hand. Girl, you know what? I drew that. Okay, girl. And then I have my final project in my foundations class, which counts as my final. So that's great. Um, I haven't started on that yet, but it's not due until next Wednesday. So we're, we're still we're still okay. Um, but I have exactly two weeks from today. I will be done with my first semester of college. That is freaking crazy. <laughs> Being an art major is more than what people think. You are required a minimum of six hours outside of each class. Each three hour class, you're required six extra hours to work on an art project, which isn't too awful, but it's awful. Um, you have no social life. Um, and on weekends, they don't exist. Uh, it's called homework. Um, 
yeah, and some people think it's fun, but when you're working on a project for two weeks, you're pretty well done with it. Um, I hate it. With that being said, today I had an advising meeting with my academic advisor, my freshman coach or whatever, whatever you want to call them. Um, and I have officially, okay, that's gonna annoy me. These need to be even. I have officially changed my major. What? You, you, you did what? Oh, okay. Um, to marketing. I know, I know, I know. I am actually like really excited because I've always had like interest in marketing. I was gonna do a marketing internship at the zoo. <sighs> hey. I also just bought this because my blue one I wear every single day. So I was like, mm, I need a new one so that I can rotate them and not look like a gross fool. Um, so I changed my major to marketing, which is a huge jump from art, but when I was comparing like my future, I come, I had a really rough childhood and kind of grew up struggling um, money wise, financially, whatever. Um, and I didn't ever want to experience that again or put my future family or children or dog or cat, whatever my life may hold, I don't want to put anything in danger of that because growing up like that was very stressful. Um, as a kid, I stressed about things I shouldn't have and I stressed a ton about money. And so I promised to myself that I would do everything I could to never end up like that again. And I believe changing my major to marketing, not only will it allow me to not stress about money as much, um, but I just think it'll be a little more me. Um, I googled what you can do with my current or my old major and it is two things. You can be a freelance photographer or videographer or you can work and do commercial photography which is fine but that's not really what I want to do. Um, I wanted to open my own photography business. Okay, it's getting hot. Well, a freelance photographer is someone who works for themselves. So what you were wanting to do is what your degree allows. But that's not what I meant by that. Um, I wanted to open my own photography business. So I had a minor in entrepreneurial management. Unfortunately, I think that um, I'm gonna have to work multiple jobs in order to even afford to be able to open my own photography business. Not to mention the years it takes to build up clientele um, to afford and make up for everything that you're already in the hole for. Um, so, I think it was a good change for me because the things you can do with marketing is crazy. You can go so many different directions with marketing. I could still do photography and then I would know how to market my business. Or I could, literally I could do so many things. And I find marketing very interesting, along with other things that other people don't understand that why I find interesting, but I do. Um, so yes, I never thought I would change my major for one because I've been so set on photography because I love photography and I still do. And I can still do it. There are so many people in today's society that are photographers, um, professional photographers who have taught themselves. Um, I was pretty well a self-taught photographer. I interned a couple of people, um, got some help from Sarah who did my senior photos and she doesn't even have a degree in photography, but her photos are great. Um, so I still can have a future in photography, but that can be my side job and I can 
major in marketing and that be my real job um, or my main job. Um, and after college or throughout college, I can always um, at home take photography studio classes at my local university for literally a third of the cost it does it cost for the class here. I was a little scared at switching my major because I had the mindset of, oh my god, I'm failing, like I'm giving up. Um, and it's, I'm not. I don't have bad grades at all. I have great grades considering like in high school I struggled. Um, but college is a whole different story. For all of you high school viewers, um, it gets better. Like, it sucks some days, because you're up real late studying, but I promise you, it's more rewarding, for one. And, academically, it's not as hard. It's just time-consuming. Um, and if you don't procrastinate until the last minute, it's literally not that bad. Alright guys, so that is all that I have for you. If you guys like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you're not already, hit that red subscribe button down below, turn on your bell notifications, um, so that you get notified every time that I post a video, since we know I'm not that reliable. And stick around, we've got some fun videos planned for you. I think I'm filming one this week with Rihanna. So get ready for that. Um, you guys can follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, as well as Facebook. I will put all of those in the description box down below. Thank you guys so, so much for watching my video, and you guys have a wonderful day, and bye.